Hello beautiful people, it's your girl Carol NG here again and welcome back to this channel where we grow and glow. So I hope the lighting is okay, it's already night. Uh, I was supposed to do this video during the day but I took one steam and I required electricity for it. So I'm going to do it now before, but I hope as it protects Jenna anyway. So today I'm going to be showing us how to preheat an oven. I know some of us could be wondering how do I preheat an oven because uh, most of us are uh, when we are baking something in the oven oftenly say you need to preheat uh, your oven but how do you do it uh, for how long do we do it and how do you know that your oven is preheated those are the questions I'm going to be answering today so let's get into the video the first step during preheating, of course, is ensuring that uh, your cooker is connected to a source of electricity. So I'll just switch it on. And the other step, ensure that your oven is empty. You see where the, the plates, armor, the whatever you want to use, it will cool and dandy because it gets really hot. So those are the first two steps. I'm going to be demonstrating this using my Mika cooker. It's one electric plus three gas burners uh, cooker. So we are going to be doing uh, the demonstration with it. In case you have such, you can just follow. So uh, after I ensure uh, the two things are uh, well taken care of, I just go directly to my knobs. So during baking, we normally use three knobs. Uh, we have this first one that is uh, indicated here. It's a timer. We also use uh, this knob number four, the temperature, and we also use uh, this other one, which indicates where your source of heat is coming from. So I have done a demonstration on uh, when I was giving a review on, of, on this cooker. You can go through the video and just see what I had to explain there because I have done a detailed explanation. So while preheating most of the things, uh, we normally use our heat from above. Uh, heat from above and below. So we are going to turn on our our knob to that uh, side. It just goes once. Every every point it goes uh, indicates something. If I do it again, it's going to turn to the next one. If I do it again, it goes to the other one and so on and so forth. The next thing we do is turning on our temperature. Let me take the camera closer. Most of the things when you are baking, we normally preheat it at 180 degrees. So I'm going to turn it on to 180 degrees. I can't see because I'm using one hand. And finally, we are going to use our timer. I think we, we can either preheat it uh, from uh, either 10 or 15 minutes. So we can uh, do 10 minutes uh, depending on what you are preparing. So I'll give a demo using 10 minutes or 15. Let me do 15. So and guys, you realize it's not very accurate, but I hope I, you have got it, gotten the point. You realize immediately you switch on the timer. Those who are using this cooker, you realize that you're going to see this, uh, this light here and also down here in the oven. And it has already begun preheating. So rule number one, when you are preheating, do not keep opening and closing the door. That's the first rule, guys. Because you are going to lose heat in the process. And the next thing, uh, when you are inserting whatever you are, you are uh, doing in the oven, just ensure you have gloves. Because by the time this oven is finishing to preheat, it is going to be super hot and uh, you don't uh, want to get burnt. So ensure that you use uh, some pieces of glove. Someone could be asking uh, the reason why we normally preheat the oven. So I think, uh, I don't think this is the answer. Uh, when we are baking most of the things, they normally contain baking powder. And as uh, baking powder or yeast uh, needs to get a hot environment so that... Uh, the cake or uh, whatever you are baking can cook well inside. So during the preheating, uh, it's making some noise inside. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't think it's very clear. So once it, uh, once the process is over, it normally makes such sound. So when you hear that sound, you're going to know that uh, the preheating is over and you can just come over or and uh, put whatever you are 
you are baking or else if you realize that it's almost just come and put it and add in on your time so and finally the next thing after you finish maybe baking or whatever uh, or whatever you are doing in the oven just ensure that the nodes are in the right place so i need to fix this and uh, i need to fix this and this so i need to turn off the temperature and i need to turn off the source of heat we don't want to cause any damage so all the nodes are in the right place and finally if you are not using your socket just ensure it is off that was a short how to video I hope I have not forget to explain anything. I needed to answer three questions. How we preheat an oven? I have answered that. Why do we preheat it? And how do you know it is preheated? I have not said that one. So the the, on, the thing that shows you that it is preheated, uh, you can put your hands uh, just to check if it is hot inside. It is already hot. I cannot even get my hand there. Or your dog gets warm. When you realize that your dog is warm, you just automatically know that uh, the oven is ready for baking. So that's it, guys. I hope you have uh, scooped something from that. It was just a short uh, demonstration on how to do a preheating. Maybe next time we can try baking or something like that. So guys, I'm done uh, doing the explanation. I hope you have picked something from the same. Yes, if you're a new time uh, user, uh, not a new time, a first time user of the oven, that will be easy for you. And you can also check out on my previous video. I did a whole review of the cooker, except the oven. I was not detailed uh, on the oven part, but I think this time I've just tried to do some, some, busy, uh, some basic, that is a basic that you need to know. Uh, it could sound very simple, but some people find, uh, don't know how to do the preheating. Like me, when I was doing the first time, I had to do a, a lot of research. And that's why I decided to do this video so, so that someone can uh, benefit from it. So guys, in case you like my content, in case you love my videos, please remember to give a thumbs up. You can also share it in your wall. You can share it on your Facebook account so that we can gain in a large community. So guys, I want to appreciate my premier gang, uh, my premier gang at this uh, stage. Thank you for your support. My channel is really growing with your help. So guys, I really appreciate from the bottom of my heart. So allow me to end this video here. In case you are new to this uh, channel, feel very, very welcome. I love visitors and my community loves visitors. And let's meet in our next video. Bye-bye. I love you.